Hello, hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Helene here, along with here the Swedish narrator, and welcome back once again to Dishonored. Now, last time we uh, managed to assassinate Campbell, 
the leader of the religious uh, enforcers of Dunwell. And in his journal, there were... Well, it basically said, or was hinted at, strongly enough at least, that um, Emily is being held at the Golden Cast brothel. So that is where we had it. Let's see. The loyalists believe that Emily is being held at the Golden Cat by the corrupt aristocratic Pendleton brothers. Uh, are Pendleton not included? These men are Lord Pendleton's uh, de despised older brothers, twins, and they are loyal to the tyrannical Lord Regent. Find Emily at the Golden Cat and eliminate Lord Costas and Morgan Pendleton. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, you accidentally made a rhyme. Yeah, uh, when then? Well, you said two sentences, and um, well, Dunwell and uh, Campbell rhyme. Okay. Uh, yeah. Prison, ain't it? Okay, Samuel. Uh, let me see. Did I leave that list of voice Always actors? I have my own ship. I knew it. I kept yeah, it somewhere mind. here. I need to... I need to look up what the damn voice Reminds actor for the time. narrator of the Darkest Dungeon is called, for he's so damn good. Oh, I've hey. Let's just get moving. Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Uh, I shouldn't be surprised that he'd go there. If his last name is Beachworth? Get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corbo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Yeah, things are going to be changing every now and then. Because, yep, well, and... things are still going to shit. Yep, and I just realized something from last time. Last mm -hmm. time we checked uh, the recording of uh, Campbell, and he said about investigating goods. And yeah, I thought he meant he was inspecting Emily, but I think he actually meant the brothel. Duh. <laughs> yeah. Let's say yeah. I hope he meant the brothel, otherwise yeah. more reason for you to kill him. Yeah. And here we have the explanation of chaos. Your actions affect the city. A high number of deaths result in more rats and weepers, different reactions from your allies, and darker final outcomes. It, it hinted at that earlier in the game as well, but here it basically it here it outright states it. Basically, the, I'm guessing the justification behind every death, all of that, is the more guards you kill, the less people there are to keep the rats and the weepers in check. Oh, and we kind of missed a thing there. Uh, yeah, that's the watchtower. And yes, it, exp it shoots explosives. What the heck did you just shoot? Explosives. Uh a person, a dog, a rat, a... I mean, that was see... not ammo. Well, seeing as uh, a body dropped down next to us, uh, I'd say... Huh? I'd say people were getting shot there. Let's see. We should be able to... Okay, we can't, we can't blink out of the water. Okay, we'll just have to find a little... Nod of land. And oh yeah, I forgot. Wait. We can blink underwater. I wonder if I'm about to ask. 
Yeah, because I swapped the the, the, the buttons last time. Uh, yeah, I thought the Zubu one of theorizes water somehow can dampen magic. Uh, yeah. I'm probably still going to get inf the buttons mixed up from time to time. And let's see. Okay, just enough reach. Let's see. No hearts. They are still... Wait, wasn't there something there last time? Does that mean that... Or is that... No. I'm pretty sure it said that there was a rune here last time we were in the area. Wait, in Maybe the, in some of them become area? unavailable? Wait, this is the same area? Yeah. We had a different approach angle, but yeah, it is the same area. Yeah, maybe it's no longer available then. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where is... There it is. Okay, so Dark Vision does cost... It just... Uh, yeah, at the pub, our powers are you know, don't cost because, well, we're in a safe area. Yeah, we should use this a hell of a lot more. Oh, yeah, it's spikes in the room. Not much, not more now. Yeah, and if we don't use things too quickly to, next oh, to each other, we should be able to. We should be able to let it recharge. Oh, he's had this way. He's wearing a mask of sorts. Oh. You have a lot of problem with one guard. Oh, no, <laughs> not anymore. Okay, let's drop you off here. And yeah, sort of rebreather. her. Well, it does it make sense. Yeah. Since not miasma theory has been proven wrong, but uh, yeah, that still a part of it is correct in oh, in that. Uh, yeah, disease can spread through the air, it's just not the only way that it can. No. Let's see. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Anyone with information pertaining to the death of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell. Oh, uh, hello there. The city watch for immediate questioning. I don't think you mind the rats. The overseers have initiated the feast of painted Slack cattle jaw. until a new I High Overseer that anyway. is chosen. May the High Overseer's spirit fade and merge with the cosmos. Uh, yeah, we... I was sort of... I was planning to try and just get the... Slackjaw's hmm? wanting to talk to you. Uh, hello. Not hostile, huh? What a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. Okay. Hmm. I haven't... Let's check. Notes. There's, there should still be something. Let's see. Optional meet with Slackjaw in the distillery. Okay. But the side thing with uh, Granny Rags and poisoning their distillery seems to have gone away. Okay, so some... I'm guessing some runes in the side... Me oh, hello. Hello. Uh, uh, yeah, these are the assassins. Uh, uh, what the heck? Uh, yeah, the... Oh, uh, now the guards are alerted as well because there's someone firing a gun. Okay, yeah, I don't think we... We might have been able to get... Oh, hello. Uh, how are you doing? Well, I guess I want you doing it. Thanks for it. I will word for that, uh, 
Tranquility swing is easier in Swedish. Bugtalare. But yeah, maybe if we'd known ahead, we might have been able to get the drop on those guys because they obviously ambushed us. So yeah, it would have been fun to ambush the ambushers. Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, he still has the same stuff as before. Yes, he, he sells these sleep darts for three times the price that we can get at the pub. So uh, let's not. And yeah, let let's just not get those me those at the moment. Hmm. That cannot make sense. He is like a griffin. With that, I mean, hey. griffins decorate the nest with treasure. Mother's journal. It, oh, there's a follow. Thank, thank you for following Rom Comboy. A cowboy. I, I can't speak tonight. Eh? No. Then again, can I ever speak right on these streams? <laughs> Let's see. Eighth jur entry. It's the fourth day of the month of rain. Morris is sick, and so are the children. I've avoided it thus far, which is good fortune since that fallen on me to care for them. Ninth entry. The city watch came. The city watch comes and goes, knocking on doors and asking for signs of plague. Even our neighbors cannot be trusted. Earlier it was difficult to keep the children quiet. Now they sleep most of the time. The flies have set in. I try to keep them away, but I can barely get uh, close. They sting so. Most of the time, Morris won't answer me when I try to talk to him from across the room. Morris is gone. I don't know what I'll do. For now, all my hope is reserved for the children leaving the flat for a while near dawn. I found some plague bags from a guard bo from a yeah, from a guard booth while no one was around. It took a while, but I got Morris into one of the bags. At least his face is covered. Young Robert has passed. The star of my sky is gone. Missing page. Uh, a moment after. Seventeenth uh, uh, entry. Elisa stopped breathing in the middle of the night. She was such a headstrong girl. I can hardly believe she was overcome. She was always near as I cut ha up hagfish or vegetables, arguing with me about everything. It's the fourth day of the month of rain, and I settled in that uh, they are lost to me, all of them. I cannot bring myself to call the dead counter. I have the fever now. No guards come near anymore. So, yeah. The plague will kill people within a month, it seems. Yeah. And let's see. Rum Cowboy in the chat. Hey, dumb question. If you ever decide to stream House of Ashes, can I join the voice chat? Uh, no, sorry. I, I typically only stream with Rakir as the voice, and I don't really have an interest in House of Ashes. I heard of it, but uh, I've seen of it. But, uh, you know, let's see. That was, that was game. Those same developers made Until Dawn, I think. And from what I've heard of the game since Until Dawn, uh, people found them rather disappointing. Though I have heard better things about House of Ashes. And again, I've had a good chunk of it spoiled for me as well. Yeah, I've not seen it yet. And also another thing, Helion doesn't really do much horror games. Yeah. Let's see. Sadly enough. Okay, yeah, these are obviously Morris and the children. Yeah, no one is saved. There's no one is spared. Ugh. Probably also not a good idea to hang near. How is this plate? They brick. They bricked them in. They're crude, but. Yeah, it keeps the infection sources, yeah, locked up. Thank you. Now let's get back to this. Go on, slack jaws inside. Okay, I I sort of had this feel. I sort of thought that some of those side objectives uh, could be completed at other times, but I guess I was wrong. And we're going for low chaos. Yeah, then again, I think if you went, if you did Granny, uh, yeah, Granny Rags a side quest here, uh, th that would have that would have helped things go to high chaos a lot. 
Uh, yeah, since we're invited, these guys won't attack. We could have gone into here earlier to go poison the still. But, yeah, we didn't. Let's see. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. Okay. The brothels are around the distilleries. They are inseparable. Seventh, now there it is. This one cooks rats <laughs> over the trash fire when, when you can't, can't find anyone to draw. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the play. Drink till you drop, that's my motto. Yeah, we've still already seen it. What's a river across the uh, Roman chat? Uh, yeah, but <coughs> I have no idea actually. I'm guessing it's some sort of uh, crustacean. Uh, bunting. This art dealer Bunting is a man of taste. If anyone left in Dunwall has something worth stealing, it's him. So whoever opens the save gets double the cut. Slackjaw. Okay. And just a little snack for ourselves. Uh, gate access. That's yeah, that's that gate, so we need enough. That's a problem for someone who can teleport. It's uh, we have no need for that. Need razor. You up for a damn tin can. Corvo's hungry and has very strong teeth <laughs> and a blueprint. Incendiary bolt or incendiary. More bullets, more mana, and more resources. Nope. That noise. Oh, Knock it off. distillery reserve key. Um. For some reason, I think a bit of an itchy nose today. Uh, sorry about that when I scratch. I don't think scratching your nose is rude. And this is a very strong cable. Uh, it's just stealth game silliness. We're full on the health, so no need to go eating the <laughs> everything in sight now. Okay, Slackjaw wants to see us. It, uh, how long until you turn a flintlock into a revolver? I no clue, really. I'm not even sure if that is an upgrade. Hmm. That's not an really interesting question, though. Stuff to loot. Ah, there he is, underneath the stairs. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See. Slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone... I don't know who is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. 
uh, has to answer you there, Rom. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing a Khajiit words. Oh, it's Rom! It's hello, Rom! <laughs> yeah, Rom, <laughs> cowboy. Nice. It, it took me a minute to realize it. So, yeah, and, oh, yeah. Yeah, look at the wall, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. With the trophies. I think those might be the blood oxes they get the sheets from. Could be, yeah. Because <laughs> they do look bloody dangerous. <laughs> okay. Still a wanted... Well, he has his own wanted poster in here. For what I thought it was, it was Corvos. And they, on they only want 2,000 coins for him. <laughs> he must feel... Uh, a bit jealous of Corvo then, then he doesn't he doesn't know we are Corvo because our pride bounty is ten thousand. I think we should be happy he doesn't know who we are, since we have the mask. Yeah. Let's see. Attach an empty veil to the spout before you turn the thing on, turn the valve on, collectible veil, repeat until empty, do not break vials, do not spill any elixir, no free swigs. Can we actually do that? Uh, where is there it is you want to make some bootleg elixir for yourself you go ahead can't have you catching the plague hmm it doesn't say anything different about it and a uh, yeah a sort of we we scratch his back he scratches our back we both profit at least he's a smart criminal not like the idiots who would stab you on the, in the back the first chance. And again, if he did know we were Corvo, he'd probably stab us uh, anyways. Yeah, and also, would it be you scratch his back and he scratch your nose? <laughs> Maybe. Now, let's see, we, we have a key for a reserve somewhere. Um, there. <laughs> I had a feeling it was here, from memory. Some herbs. More a sextant. 50. Rewire tool. Okay. Easy enough, and well, since they aren't hostile to us, we can just pick it up and run off. And let's see, uh, Rom in the <laughs> chat. You help me kill this man, I'll, I'll get you a way in. Shows cardboard box. <laughs> Corvo could probably pull it off. He, he'd just uh, teleport with the box uh, back and forth. That, that, I hope that will happen. That's, that's awesome. See, some extra stuff that we are, are full on. And let's not forget, though, that bone charm. How do we get to that? <laughs> Okay, there's no entry here. If they had me, they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. And more rum, you scratch my uh, back, I uh, scratch yours, Caprice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then. Oh, so that was easy enough. Okay, the keys are for there. Vengeance. Let's have a look. Getting damage gets you some adrenaline. Might as well equip it, even though I don't think we have access to that system yet. Uh, da -da -da. But, uh, yeah, I thought you were something else for a minute there when you asked earlier. Uh, so, yeah, perhaps with some games you could join in on the chat some uh, time. Uh, we're currently using voice chat in a little channel of our own to keep things uh, pr private so no one has the ability to sneak in and such. But, uh, yeah, maybe every now and then you could join in with things. Yeah, especially on uh, if you have some games that can be found with extra commentator or extra players. <laughs> yeah. Someone's still prowling around. Uh, no, yeah. Well, you did come across as a bit of a weirdo, but it was more because I thought you were a random at, the, uh, at first. So, yeah, that, now, that I, now that I realize it is you, it's a lot less weird. Oops. 
the heck is that on the floor? Bottle, Bottle Street Gang. They have very interesting style of graffiti. It's one way of make marking their territory. What was this one? Whirlwind one. You swing. Oh, hello. Yes, let's yes, take that. Wait, 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 wait. What does he do? Swing faster. Okay. Yeah. Da -da -da. I've Brom again. I've always wanted to tattoo the mark of the outsider on my hand. Uh, you go on ahead with that if you managed to get an artist skilled enough for that. Personally, I don't really have a thing for tattoos. A mandatory whale oil is now in effect. Oh, and we have weepers. Oh dear. And uh, I like tattoos, and I do like to draw them and roleplay characters with tattoos, but I would not dare to put that tattoo on me for not to do the pain, but feel of I would uh, regret getting it or something, like uh, if I didn't like the tattoo. That's... Yeah, then there are ways to get rid of tattoos, and... Okay, he almost spotted me there. Yeah, the problem is, it's expensive to remove them. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, rather not to spend money to accidentally get a tattoo I don't like, and then spend more money to just get rid of it. Let's see, we have more guards wandering around now. But I do respect tattoos, I really do. Especially when I have uh, tattoos that really suit the sex person. Let's see, are these... Okay. Yeah, the crossbow has a big range, so he's taken out. Uh, I don't. I think it's a bad idea to go through the front door with the, the Galvani officers. Of course, the side door is blocked off. So. Rum. That's like the one that you I would like to have, and that's it. Laser surgery gets rid of them, but you are paying out the ass. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, let's head in. Bone charm nearby. Oh, hello there. Okay. One of them is staying in here. Can I hide? No, I... Yes, I can hide under the table. I surprised that was easier from that distance. It's like we're choking out a lighthouse. Looks like you used to count a minion. <laughs> there are plenty of people who would <laughs> who would absolutely pay to choke out a minion. Me though, I don't find them as annoying as some. I like them, but I also see why people dislike them. I think I have yeah. a bit of a love-hate relationship with them. Don't push them, and the points they really just make me want to punch them. Yeah, it can also just be a case of oversaturation. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's see. I think there was a way to open up a power menu or something. I've forgotten which button that is. What I haven't forgotten is that we can take this guy. What the heck? Hmm? Those are some long net gazelles. Or what they are supposed to be on the trophy walls. Uh, here, I'm guessing you mean? Or... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they, those are pretty. From what I remember of gazelles, they, those are long necked. Yeah, they, they do have long necks, just not that long. 
and checking with ROM again. And in case any of you ask, I did have a ROM you know, Rojo account on Twitch, but it got hacked and I forgot the password for it, so I made a new one. I would like to hit a main with a baseball bat. If it's oversaturation, then it's the same reason why I don't like you know, the song Let It Go from Frozen. Yeah. Uh, personally, I also have it with uh, Caesar Milan, the, the dog whisperer. Because, yeah, they were just... They were just airing his shows again and again and again and again and again and... Yeah, as... Mm, not going to say too much on how functional his uh, tactics might be, because I've heard that he might actually be considered a dog abuser by act by other uh, animal organizations. Um, but yeah, that, from what I saw, most of the time it ended up being one of only two different uh, tactics or problems that he needed to do. Oh, yeah, I never heard of that guy. And I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, I heard it let it go too many times back when I didn't have a wheel hop. Okay. Oh, from my last job, brother. And yeah, it was going out in the store almost all the time. The only thing I would enjoy of let it go is probably any witty parodies of it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Travel to Pandesia. The men I set out with were good sailors. No doubt half of them had, uh, have cut their teeth on the rascally pirate ships Mond the Sarconan Archipelago. Or they were, I should say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliff welcoming those who would visit the far continent, as it's called. Sickness, infighting, poisoned by a school, or would one say a flock, of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, Landing in the hundreds across the deck, pricking any they touch with toxic quills. Too thrown overboard by gusting demon winds. The quiet TV navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes wide with terror. Few have crossed the ocean and the distance to Pandesia is greater than most would imagine. More died climbing the cliffs, and now with but a handful I stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is, be this is beyond them. And now their captain is dead too, stung by something that resembled a prairie mole, but reacted with great apoplectic outrage when handled. So it falls to me to lead them. By, by Sokolov? Okay, uh, yeah, I, I, it makes sense that he'd be wacky enough to actually go to such lengths. I'm surprised he actually made it back alive with probably a quarter of the crew. Oh. Heck. Let's see, anything else to loot around here? Why am I so cold? Maybe because you're probably dead. Well, you are dead. Let's see, Govani's journal. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boil Estate. Of course, I won't attend. The 28th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for pools. So I'll be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tivian Red. It's... Wait, does it... Uh... There's an invitation around here. And huh. I do know that uh, we will be attending that party. Small spoiler. Because we'll be going after the boils as well. So if we can find that invitation, we'll have ourselves an extra entrance. Now, though. What is a soiree, by the way? Uh, it's a fancy word for party. Oh. Nice. oh. Hello. What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. So what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of slack chuck men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Too bad time for that to fail. Uh, okay, one is coming out, the other is staying in. Wait, yeah, so this power is going to be so useful. Oh, he's not getting oh. out. 
so you have to get it right. That one you didn't kill. Nope. Are they so trading places? No, he seems to be coming out. Did you do it wrong? He has a key. safe enough here and yeah that's that's how much sound we're giving off uh, he please no no did we get his key what the? I think we got his, I'm pretty sure we got his key even though I didn't see a notification of it How did his sword land onto the carpet? With effort, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, Rom again. I think there's a wheel for your current powers. Yeah. Okay, I was. That was random. I I <laughs> I was thinking. Often it's the middle mouse button, and yeah, correct. <laughs> and yeah, that passes things outside. So this should make things a lot easier when. Uh, We'd get in trouble with things. And Ram again to quote De Detective Mc McNulty. The fuck did I do? Detected who? From I'm, what I'm seeing of the spelling, it's McNulty. Maybe that's supposed to mean McNutty. <laughs> And also these these broken grates, those you can pass through if you're possessing a rat. But we don't have possession yet. So we have no use for those at the moment. Yeah, do I suspect we should probably try to grab as many runes and bone shards as possible between the missions. Yeah. Where's that other guy? There he is. Facing, you are facing Ray. Hello. Okay. Lab key. The elixir we have no use for. A rat behavior and extermination. Excerpt from a series of interviews with street workers by rat catcher Lena. Used to be you'd go out with a bag, a stick with a nail on the end, and catch as many rats as you could in the night. The city watch paid by weight. My husband Benjamin and I mostly worked alone, and we got by. If we found a place where rats were real bad, sometimes we'd hire a crew of street rats to work with us. The younger ones who didn't make trouble, we'd pay them with bread and apple cider. Once the play came, the rats were different. Meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. You had, you had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn... Um, and the swarm would come back at you. I barely got away by my skin a few times down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterwards, but it was the sound they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous, and the city watch started paying better, but that didn't last long because after a while too many people had been stripped clean, trying to fill up a bag. The w one slip, and they'd be all over you, gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my ba poor Benji. Oh Yeah, these... These things are vicious. Rats make for good pets if you know how to yeah, keep them. But uh, yeah, yeah, those things I think Beanie would dislike even. Yeah, and I think my mother can confirm and aunt. Well, my mother has had a pet rat, which apparently I tried to chase as a baby. And my aunt also had a pack of them. I. I think they had to put them down after all, well, after... It went up very while, then it's all they started to have incest problems, I think. Okay. But otherwise, they said that the rats are good pets. 
and from Rom, watch the wire. I'm guessing that's where the reference was to. And oh. to explain for Rom, Beanie is a friend of mine uh, who, well, has rats. <laughs> he also streams as Beanie Undead. Let's see, excerpt from a natural philosopher's note. For over a year, we've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given their rapid gestation and maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites, which is how the, <clears throat> the Black Plague was spread. Not through the rats themselves, but the parasites on top of them. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats has lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town in the slum exhibit the oldest strains of the plague. While those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered their city, exhibit a younger strain of plague. Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I will continue my research. If nothing else, I am living proof that Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague if one consumes enough of the stuff. Well, I'd ho I certainly hope it'd be, because uh, the doctor seems a bit absent here. <laughs> Leviathan Sorrow. Excerpt from a report on a, th a treatise banned by the Rotshurk Trade Council. Little is known of Pakori, credited with this series of pamphlets arguing against the waiting trade. While he is gifted, his views are nonsense and threaten the economic underpinnings of the Empire. 1. Enslavement. On the breeding and husbanding of whales versus hunting the beasts in the wild. After a natural and free life cycle, Pakori offers no solutions for where these massive malevolent beasts might be pastured. This solution laments on the destruction of social bonds between herd members. Pakori actually uses the term families. I think a, a group of whales is called a pod. Harmony. Drivel on the aesthetic wonder of what is, in reality, the great and terrible ocean that ever threatens to swallow us. Includes arguments on the gentle nature of the brutes, a notion refuted by seamen who return to shore wide-eyed with tales of the whales of savagery. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you're sticking spears in their back, they aren't going to be too happy with you on that one. Disruption. Here, Pakorti is on his weakest footing, issuing a, up feverish warnings against the displacement or transference of natural beasts from their nat uh, native environments. Well, all we have to do is look at Australia on uh, how, that, how that goes when uh, an ecosystem is disrupted. Oh, you mean the Emu War? Yeah, uh, not that, but basically any time anyone brought an animal to uh, Australia uh, it did, where it didn't have a natural predator so it could breed like mad. And uh, oh. yeah, then they had to bring in something else to deal with uh, with the beast that had suddenly grown out of you know, control there. And well, if that wasn't obvious enough, it, well, the rats just confirmed it and the wheel <laughs> Ripple confirmed it. How do we open? That's how we open you. I have to say, that's the worst fake bookcase I've ever seen. Well, it's not really fake, it's just a... Uh, it's just a... Uh, it's sucked at hiding this thing. Extremely. Sure, mop of the floor is a good tell sign, but... You probably wouldn't even need the markings on the ground, just for seeing the wheels alone. Yeah, at the very least put rubber underneath those things or something. Let's see. <laughs> I think it's stuck on there for something. Uh, yeah, let my use one up. Sewer capacity in the month of nets. Excerpted interview attached to a formal report by City Works Crew 17A. I've been asked to tell up the problems, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like man gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my uh, family. It's bad enough that the work works is clogged with trash from the cats, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We got to get it done before the month of rain. 
or you know what. And it ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering either. Been at this, been at this job for nigh on 28 years and I never seen one of them come below that, except to measure uh, will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So these last three years been the worst and here's why. It's the river crusts moved into the works. We hear a man ahead yell and scream like he's burning up and we all climb up fast, no other choice. So those things, those crusts are dangerous. Okay. okay. I don't remember if they actually show up, but I suspect that they might. And Crowley's last message. Okay, can we find one of those audiograms later it's, on? They sound almost more like they are like manatees, but why would you name it something that looks like a manatee and a cross? Unless there are crustaceans that ha have carapace that will sting you badly? Now, I, I, I guess that they are some sort of crustacean. And that door will lead us out, I'm pretty sure. So let's check the first floor still for anything. Yeah, I'd say this world's wildlife and domesticated life are quite terrifying. Yeah. Like, yeah, we, we saw the heads of the possibly blood ox. Okay, nobody's here. And the reason I keep killing the rats is because if too many of them gather in one place, they'll turn hostile. It eat you! Like a furry swarm of piranhas. Yeah. It's this, and this I wish I was saturating. Restrict the restless hands, which quickly become uh, the, the workmates of the outsider. Unfettered by honest labor, they rush to sordid gain, vain pursuits, and deeds of violence. Of what, well, of what value are the hands that steal and kill and destroy? Instead, put your hands to the plow, the fork, and the spade. For even the lowliest labor that is uh, rigorous squeezes the muscles as a sponge, ridging impurities from the body and mind. Avoiding the rat plague, excerpt from a governmental protocol on disease practices. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bowel from river crust will protect against contraction of the disease, nor is it true that crushed Morley orchids acts as a remedy, though it is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Sokolov's elixir and Pierrot's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Further, the Abbey of the Everyman warns against superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two hagfish and a cat together, impaling, uh, inhaling the vapors while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it is also considered heresy by the overseers and will be met with the full measure of the Abbey's laws. Tell your neighbors and practice these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infected, consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work, must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. Uh, I'm to pass here. It feels awkward almost to play this game. Probably due to how accidentally relative it is. Yeah. I hadn't actually planned I hadn't actually planned or thought on that when I put this uh, on the two string list. I thought I heard someone for a second there, and that's that's a dangerous play. Yeah, that's a, a dangerous group. Oh yeah, I think I saw them earlier. Uh, that you up in the could see through floors. I think yeah. I noticed them. Okay, at least they're isolated in wherever there is. So let's turn that off. Customs and foods at Morley. That, uh, we've seen that one before. Basically, he's complaining about the food in a different country. I suspect there's... Hello? Feeding log. Fourth day, month of wind, assorted human remains, strong appetite, tenth, one back, Tivian pears, bros, rotten, rats uninterested. 
tenth, one pot, uh, one tin potted whale meat eaten. Thirteenth, human, tor human torso, no trouble finding corpse parts. Seventeenth, no feeding, aggression increased, incident of cannibalism. Twentieth, incident with previous maid uh, servant, will withhold feeding until first day, month of darkness. Uh, sounds oh. like... S yeah. Sound... They are his experiments, aren't they? Yep. And I'm... I'm oh, we can open the door now, which will let them out. But That's not... I don't think... I'm not seeing really anything too useful in there. And the heart isn't responding. So, yeah, let's leave those in there, because this guy, at the very least, if he's still alive, uh, is doing good work. Uh, Another building key. Yeah. That room is death, death of tiny gnawing teeth. Yeah, I, I, I actually move on? I think piranhas might actually be pre preferable, because those, <laughs> those take bigger bites out of you, so it lasts... Uh, Longer for them to kill you, or not? It doesn't last as long for them to kill you. Uh, well, at least we have a good idea of why slack yours are being killed and what's happening to them. Hmm. Actually, we. Well, they, they, said, they said that he was already in here and dead, I think. So, yeah, maybe the doctor is yeah, killing gang members for food for his rats or something. Hmm. Okay. Bone charmer that Even way. Tidium burial urns. Okay. I think that was the audio thing for getting sighted. Yeah, and two bones. Yep. What the heck did you land on? I don't know. I think the ledge here. But your luck. Yeah. I'll be taking those ten coins. Wait, did you knock him out? Yeah, we with a dart. Oh. oh, right. He was the one you shot earlier. Yeah. Let's have a look. Those two are alert, probably because of our fight earlier over there. Uh, rum again. Why would you make a rum out of something that uh, kill you? Uh, referencing to what exactly with that? Were we spotted there? Wait. I don't know. We weren't spotted there. I, I missed with the jump. Yeah, I was confused. Was someone hinting to making rum out of rats or? Wait, that actually sounds disgusting. No, I don't think that would really work either because uh, we kind of need something that will dissolve. I think. Hey, hey, hey! Wait a minute! What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pay for the whiskeys? Shush up your mouth! You know I can't work out the right number of coin. It's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, just straight up admit uh, you can't count. At least he's being honest about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, get, let's get this message to Slack Dog and see whatever he has to offer for us to get in. Oh, he's over there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we. No. Let's, let's see if he just plays it for us. What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Blackjaw, it 
It's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. You was right. There is someone once you're dead. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I didn't. That's why it's taken me so long. I wanted to be sure, and... What's that? Fire! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat brothel. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. And this is how we get access to the non-lethal option with the twins. All right. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. A lot of money clients, including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers, just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Okay, non-lethal, locate the art dealer. And by okay. yeah, less killing, we keep the... Actually, there's no need for that. Less killing, we keep the chaos low, and that is what we want. Though, as we've seen, we are currently at low chaos, even though we've ac we've killed Campbell, so it isn't required to go non-lethal. That's not you don't do it too often. Wait. Yeah, I think there are e I think there are even uh, dialogue bits written out in this game Someone for if you hurt. if you kill a lot of guards but not go non-lethal on all of the targets. Which, well, in most cases, is a faith worse than death. Oh, no, no. Yeah, we Attention, dodged this first time. The Any tower. To the death of Luckily, it's only blocking family. that way. So, I say that, and... <laughs> okay, I forgot they can actually do that. <laughs> Also, didn't you accidentally skip out of some bone charms? That looks like a dangerous swarm. Uh, we can go back there. I don't think there were any more... Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, back at the building you were in earlier, uh, not the slack of yours one, there were signs of at least two bone charms. That's the guy's head. Gotta keep my eyes open. Uh, you mean in the doctors or the distillery? Yeah, they're, they're showing up now. Yeah, there's one there, and there's one over there. Oh, one well, at the golden cat. All right. Yeah, towards, I think, is more the case. Uh, okay. Let's see. One oh. of them is down there. Though, what? Oh, I see. That's been broken open now. That wasn't opened last time we ran through here. Ooh. But it's the weepers all, all around it. So best I can think at the moment is to go here. There we go. I was half expecting that to get seen there. 
Sneaky, sneaky. Hello. Come. Granny Rags? Come to dinner now. That's right, my sweet little birds. Come to Granny. Granny won't hurt you. I heard you. Can't be. Dearie, is that you? No. No, no, no. You're dead. You're dead. Dead, dead, dead. I did not expect to see her in here. Let's see. Clockwork not function. Enemy grenades take slightly more time to explode. Mm, not too useful at the moment, since we are still trying to avoid combat as much as possible. Yeah, but it can become useful. Yeah. At the right moment. The outsider. We've seen this one as well. That's the the young bitch who is uh, seeking out the outsider. And oh, <laughs> that's one entrance into the golden cat. Uh, six is the heart. Yes. Wait. Okay. Well, <laughs> we can't get in that way now. Have you seen him? The handsome one with the beautiful dark eyes. I just want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you? If you see him. Mm, yeah, she's talking about the outsider. Yeah. Very obvious with the mention of his eyes. Stop fussing with my collar, Mama. The dance is starting soon. Is my hair smooth enough? He's sure to be there. Yeah, she's a... Bit loopy. Allison's letter. Dear Daniel, I've been given a geologist position with the Horizon Trading Company in Serconos. Soon we'll be undertaking our first survey just south of Karnica. Don't wait too long to leave because there are rumors of people being denied passage out of the city. Wait for me in Karnica. Yeah, I guess she'll be uh, waiting for a good while longer. Little birds, I got some seeds. I think weepers can be taken out just like guards. Wait, know, just you like have, guards. Uh, you have done it uh, in the past. Yeah. We just want to avoid setting them off. Because, yeah, they will act like zombies and swarm you. So let's just keep an eye out for that one. That one is just busy. With something. Okay. Wait for her to leave. Okay, yeah, was it good thing that was. Now, I thought I had Blink equipped again in the head of you, are back quick. Okay, so their patterns are more randomized, I'm guessing. And yeah, they will just alert each other like that. And now we've got two of them incoming here. I wonder, are they your sick or are they actually undead? Yeah, they are sick. Just to the point where they have no control over themselves, so they might as well be undead. Yeah, and you saw someone really wrecking them and guts out there. Yeah. Technically, it's a, amazing that they are even able to survive like this. Is, is it from the plague or...? It's from the plague. Oops. Yeah, considering... Oh, they are probably like the rats that they uh, seem to have a, a preference for human flesh. No, I, I believe it's not really human flesh, it's just the plague. I don't know if this is accurate, but from what I remember of them, it's like they seek to infect whoever they can. Yeah, though. During the doctor's research, they noted that the rat ate meat, it was an interesting fruit, 
But as quick as it was human flesh, it, they really went all in on it. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, so you can cancel Blink. I'd missed that before. Oh dear. How does it work? What? The wall of light? Isn't it a wonder? It's one of Sokolov's latest inventions. They say the idea came to him in a vision. Yes, yes, but do you know how it works? I really couldn't say. But all the hairs on your body stand up when you walk through it. Keep your men from tampering with it. Yeah, it's basically a bunch of Tesla coils. Ow. Okay, we know this is a safe way through. So let's not. Mudlark. A tramp like you get elixir. We've been on half rations for a week. I ain't catching the plague. End it over. No, please, it's for my baby. He needs it. It's us that needs it. If the city watch gets sick, how are we gonna protect you? Protect me? You grab her, I'll get the elixir. You're gonna no, I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. Fuck off the both of you. Thank you're lucky you. I'm going thank for you, low sir. chaos. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there. Probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. And that's how helping someone can help you. Well, Neither of these guys has anything on them. We inadvertently been able to help the slack job. Yeah, give us some privacy. <laughs> they can explain to their captain why <laughs> they were in there. Oh, come on, this again. I thought that was the sting of getting sight, the uh, musical sting for getting seen again. Okay, this time we're heading up here with this active. Oh, there's even a watchtower over there. Okay. Attention, Dunwall citizens. A mandatory whale oil ration Let's is see. now in effect. Non compliant. There's a bone charm. The Captain's Chair Hotel and the Golden Cat. Let's see. We should be well hidden in this spot, but if they get us line on us, they can still see us. And there's something in there. Part of our mana will recharge if we do not use a power again too soon. Official guard report. Be aware that Clavering Boulevard leading to Holger Square has been sealed until further notice. Following the murder of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell, a high is religious figure in the land, all access to the office of the High Overseer will be subject to my approval. First Captain Nathan Mortimer. Happy liaison. Okay. Drink. I wonder how that happened. Hmm. An explanation, Helion? Hmm. A wizard did it. <laughs> okay, I think. I think at this point, Corbo technically counts as a wizard. Ah, there. Those watchtowers have one weakness, and that's their oil supply, which is on the back. Which is actually smarter than some people would probably would have designed these things. They'd probably have put it at the bottom. But it'd be pretty easy to sneak up on those things and just grab this, their oil. Now, though... The recharge... Yeah, 
could have jumped that probably, but I wanted to be certain. Yeah. Yep. Shouldn't you hand over that key to the Slack Yo? Uh, no, no, we to need it. Uh, we need it to. Uh, Slackjaw wants the whatever. Slackjaw wants the combination of, of the safe. The, the key is a way into the building. Oh. But it isn't a combination. Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. And yeah, there's a charm over there. I think we'll have to get close to or on top of the tower to get to it safely, though. Unless there is a bit over there. Let's wait for it to turn. Okay, it's looking down. There we go. And disabled. Okay, now where's that charm? It's behind the door? Or is it inside somewhere? I think it might be inside. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's a level transfer. Uh, back to Rom in the chat. Well, lady, I got new good news and bad news. The good news is that you are single again. And he does have magic powers and wears a robe. It's more of a trench coat, but it still fits. Hmm. <laughs> okay, the Captain's Chair Hotel has the entrance there. That is sealed off. Uh, Blink becomes so much more useful once you upgraded its length, its range. And yeah, that's a level transfer. So there has to be a different entrance somewhere. And yeah, it seems we could have just climbed on top of the roof to get over here instead of risking... Risking getting seen by the watchtower and... <clears throat> this is a completely accidental hiding spot. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything we can climb here? Yes. Okay. There we go. Yeah, the captain's chair. Hmm. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This the, the heck is... Why the hell are there so many spears on top of the Abbey's doorway? Oh, and we, oh, oh, we can't get there again, apparently. <laughs> okay, so I was wrong on that. Basically, get the things in a level, because you will not get access to them again. One, two, three. have a safe entry and yep this will be to the charm and you are spirit water four out of five in this area or in this uh, I'm not seeing any others I'm guessing four out of five in this quote-unquote episode let's take a look what was that one Ranking from faucets recharges a small amount of mana. Okay. Yeah. Well, That'll be hungry. useful to equip when needed. Oop. Okay. That does show that you can still deal with swarms. Or at least thin them out. So yeah, they they aren't just an instant game over if they catch you. 
but still uh, it's best to keep them at a distance. Uh, Rom in the level, yeah, there's five be uh, five permission, I think. Okay. Yeah, it, it has been eight years since I played this game last. Let's see. Play your yeah. way options. The upcoming area is riddled with pathways that allow many approaches to accomplishing your mission. Look for overhead ledges, rat tunnels, water passages, and hiding places. Uh, okay, yeah. One bone charm and three runes. Okay, um... What was the idea? Were we to get them rid of them without killing them? Yeah. We need to find the art dealer over there. Oh, all right. This, this is a much better approach. Since we start with this, with the height advantage. And hello there. Okay, that rune should be easy enough. Can we? We can. You want to play with me? You're a lot cuter than my regulars. Sorry, lady. I'm on duty. I'm on duty too. I want to show you. You want me to lose my job? Get lost. Excuse me. <sighs> Just trying to make a living. Okay, finally one with a bit of honor. Now, there were others, but yeah, they're, they're a bit few and far between. Let's see, where is that thing here specifically? Let's not fall down <laughs> all the way. A lovable alien. Thank you. Um, let's see, how many do we actually have at the moment? We have five. Hmm. We could get possession. We have vitality, more health. Build oh yeah, this adrenaline to trigger brutal melee fatalities. And shadow kill. We are again we're trying to go for non-lethal, so this will be less useful for us. Let's see. Yeah, it is possession sound useful for Well, it's it'd be useful for our way of uh, scouting. Oh, see useful objects and security systems for walls as well. Okay. Let's get that. To physically merge with any animal's body for a limited time, you can end possession by pressing the left mouse button again. If your host were to die, you would endure the same fate. Small animals can survive the possession process. At level 2, you can also possess people. While inside another human body, you are too clumsy to do anything but basic actions like opening doors or carrying objects. So basically preventing you from killing people uh, as someone else. And yeah, let's upgrade this as well. And let's see. Because yeah, information is always useful. There's no proof. The rats are the proof. They're still just rats. Just rats. Rats that can strip a corpse to nothing in seconds. That's from the continent. I got a cousin, a traitor. Said he saw shit like that, and much, much worse. Even if you're right, what do we do? Send a fleet to the continent. Burn the whole country down. That'd show them. Mm. What? It wouldn't be daddy's. Basically what I think he was saying is he suspects that uh, the plague was introduced. Which the research of the... I forgot his name, his spelling... Giovanni, or Gian... I'm just calling him Giovanni. Uh, his research showed that the the plague started in the slums, not the harbor. Like uh, a naturally imported plague would do. Of course, Ooh, I know the answer already, but I'm not going to spoil that. Now, how do we get back up again, though? Yes, yeah. We we do we do not get as much distance with this up as we get sideways. Then again, if we aim it up low enough, we can still get quite a bit of this height. There we go. Let's see. The dealer is there, but the loot is here. You are in a prime position to almost spot me. Ah, 
on the first floor. I need to get the men in position. The ivory room. All I can tell you is, it's very heavily soundproofed. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Custis is easier to manage. Some nights he just waits in the smoking room upstairs and talks. It's funny what people will pay for. Oh. Sorry okay. about that for a moment. Someone stepping into, well, want to ask for something and then change their mind. Oh. Uh, yeah, one of the. Yeah, a soundproofed room in a brothel. That can only be for two things. And uh, let's see. We can't. We don't have the key here. I think you just saw a statue near you or behind you. Oh. Of uh, course. Headless. Okay, so useful stuff is green. Guard there. There's someone in there, the mad madame's office. Hmm. Okay, can we hide you somewhere? Let's look for that first before we start knocking people out, because we wouldn't... Hmm. It wouldn't be the end of the world if someone got spot if someone was found, but it'd still be a better to not have uh, someone find someone and then put the whole place on alert. Some better, some coins. Missing woman, golden cat. Excerpt from a crime story revolving around the golden cat. First, let me take a sip of water because my mouth is getting dry from all of this reading. Good idea. Oh, damn it. My glass is empty. <laughs> no. Uh, Mr. Arrowhoff, I assure you my family has the means to pay you and your associates should you locate my sister. You've got her name and description and everything else we know about her initial weeks in Dunwall before Patrice stopped writing to me. However, there is one detail so hard to believe that I was reluctant to mention it. There's an establishment within Dunwall called the Golden Cat, a bathhouse, I believe, though some say it's a brothel. I find it implausible that Patrice would ever be connected with such a place, but I would be remiss if I did not pass along the information. Just before her letter stopped coming, the cousin of an old friend uh, said he saw Patrice performing there, singing and playing the harp. It could be nothing, but please investigate. Lastly, if your search of the city is, has not borne fruit by the month of wind, I'll be making the trip from Morley uh, myself in order to retain another agent. Sincerely, Madison Kane Bryant. Okay. Okay. A, okay. a crime novel. Mm. Someone's in there. I like that they actually take time to make their own mums in games like these. Yeah. And Corvo getting his uh, <laughs> his uh, daily supply of medals again. Uh, whatever you can say, he's di he works on his diet at least. Uh, Wait, in chat. Man, this apartment building sucks. And fifty dollars says the Pendleton are involved in that. It was a crime novel, so it's not actually a real thing. And well, that looks a bit uh, <clears throat> familiar, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Who are you? Why are you wearing that mask? Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. 
Okay, I might have started that a bit too soon. Um, yeah. I... No, if we do run into someone, we have sleep darts. Luckily, though, she seems to be going for the basement. There you are. Okay, this seems abandoned enough to be safe. Uh, it's locked. Prudence, the old hag. She caught me trying to get away. Now she keeps the key with her. You've got to find the key so we can leave. And yeah, it can't be that I'll easy, huh? Until you get the key. <laughs> okay, so she will... Okay, so we can still do the other thing. Yeah. Elixir delivery. Ooh. This is the weak supply of elixir. Tell your ladies to drink up, but the boss says uh, we got to have coin in payments. No more trades. Braxton. Okay. And we're full, so we won't be stealing their elixir. <clears throat> Martin. Forgiven. Now let's see. What is girl did? No. She's cute. Amy or Emily or something. She tried to escape. Somehow she found the VIP exit. Really? Yes, Prudence keeps it locked now and she carries the only key. Why is she here anyway? Is she some niece of the Pendletons? No idea. They keep her hidden away. <laughs> Yeah, even they find it weird for a little girl to be there. Yeah. Um, I don't know, remember if this game is accurate enough to make mirrors count for you being seen, but apparently it looks like not the case. Still, I'd rather not get too close and have them running around like a bunch of chickens, alerting all the guards. And let's head up again so we have the height advantage. Or anyone downstairs? We have the high ground! Rom, yeah, let's not steal any of the prostitutes' life saving meds. Yeah. You're, yeah, I, I agree with Rom. That's actually very good advice. There are people too. Yeah, even if it is not the uh, most reputable profession, it is still a profession. And more likely than not, it's the oldest profession. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Probably the oldest profession in existence <laughs> in human history. <laughs> I, for a moment, I thought I'd kill them with the freaking door. Yeah, same here. And I'm actually we're gonna look up to if that really is the old profession for. I think I heard mention it's actually a yoke, but yeah. If it is a yoke, I prefer to find out it's actually just a yoke. Uh, yeah. Now we start with emptying this place out, and a bit overkill with the portraits, people. Let's see. Well, it is supposed to be a apparently high class brothel. Um, ah, there he is. Though we don't say it's a bathhouse, but close to the brothel. I think that's basically a reference to how uh, bathhouses were viewed in Middle Ages. Like they had to close bathhouses because. Well, yeah, people ended up having sex too often there, so they just closed them down. If I drop down on him, I'd get the feeling it'll more likely kill him, because you can't... I believe you can actually just Goomba stomp enemies in this game as well. <laughs> so, yeah, let's... It's your fundamental image! <laughs> I'll you. That was the last guy's swords. Okay. 
That because he allowed it. everyone by seeing Black accidentally kicking his sword. Mm. No drinking. Yeah, if someone talked to me about that in that situation, I would not be commenting for... It could be either way. Yeah, it is sort of their job to make you like them. Yeah, but it can also have the revocation that actually do like you. Yeah. So, if it's a bit unfair to really see it's that or that. See. So yeah, I would probably just time. take the neutral ground and stay away from the topic. Let's see, what are you doing here? I just conversation Whoa. going on somewhere. I'm waiting for my cup of tea, sir. I'm guard against the mask hooligans. Okay, we can't take this guy out, but where would we hide him? This place seems isolated enough, and it does seem to have only one entrance. Yep, there's a balcony. Okay. Now he is the buffet. Okay, back to rune hunting. Over there, over there. And there's the ivory rune and the art dealer. Oh, we can use this. Hmm? One. Uh, you go, go on. on. Alright, I would say about runes and other uh, topic about tattoos. If there was any tattoos I would get, it might be runes. Yeah, not surprised there. Do it again. I like the idea of the whole uh, rune magic, like you have magic tattoos on your body, your armor, and your weapons. <laughs> like that's kind of interesting. It interests me a bit. Do it again. Advantage of magical runes: they are either permanent or you can change change them out. You again? It's probably too expensive for you, at the very least. Well, oh, at only five coin, okay. Cheap ass. I was to say, I'm surprised the portraits are your face portraits. Now, they, they do have to keep up the appearance of just being a bathhouse. If it was just a bathhouse, then why even bother with portraits? There's another one here somewhere, and that's quite a decoration. There's one of them. What is that whisper every time you turn that on? We'll check uh, next time we activate it. Now we yoink that. Please do not ask for credit. And these two are out cold. Not be taking that then. But I will be taking this guy's consciousness. And let's carry you just in case you tip over into the freaking ocean. Yeah, more the river. The, you can join your pals here. Every time I think that sword drawing sound is someone else. They can go fish that up themselves. You bloody... What if they heard you and woke up? Uh, I, I think once someone is unconscious, unconscious uh, they are just out until... Well, until you leave. 
Uh, Make a note there, Ron. Helion will be a very bad assassin. Well, so don't didn't hire I him. Prove that in the previous streams. Yeah, you prove see, see, see previous streams that you are not a, a good one. Well, decent but not expertly one. We have a book there, and, and we have a, a very fancy place. You're supposed to be on duty. This whole place you're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Wake up! Well, someone's out. <laughs> that saves us on a bit of work. Yeah. And I don't like her. She actually tries to help him. Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't really want to be helped. Well, he's a bit too drunk to realize he needs it. Yeah. Uh, Rom in chat. I was about to say, moving from one topic on uh, on the whorehouse to another topic in the whorehouse. <laughs> uh, the devs also probably didn't want to risk uh, and uh, an uh, an adults only rating showing skimpy women. Uh, you are assuming I know anything about being a good assassin. Whenever I play Hitman. Uh, it usually devolves into me shooting the whole place up. <laughs> well, it, it still counts as stealth if there's no one to uh, report the crime. Oh, God. And Rom is right. I didn't think of that. A daughter of Tivia. Uh, excerpt from a theater play. Uh, young lady Amelia in the back garden. Duchess, I do not know of the world beyond these garden walls, but do not mistake my lack of experience for fear. Or for an absence of desire. If I have avoided you, it is because of the warning your name carries. Duchess Carly, bending a rose to her face, inhaling the scent. And what warning is that, my dear Amelia? Turning her back to the Duchess, I believe you know my meaning. Your father's tales are still the subject of parlor gossip. Stepping up close. And do these stories excite you? Tell me, girl, I'm a friend. Hesitating, Duchess Carly, I. Yes, I confess they do. In my youth, I hid a copy of the tales of Prince Kalimsar. Uh, I read them <clears throat> late into the night, and that was something we found last time. Uh, speaking into her ear, as did I. Leaning back into her embrace, but he was your father. Stroking your neck. They're just stories, Amelia. Fire for the imagination. Uh, Duchess, will you teach me to kiss? I will, but have you ever kissed another? A beery, a rose gardener, emerging from the hedges, stammering. My ladies, I swear to you, I did not intend to spy. Forgive me, but I was pruning the hedge and could not find a way to interrupt. <laughs> okay. We forgive you, but as punishment, I command you to stay and to come closer. Uh, shocked, first brown in irritation, but he is a servant, Duchess. And pulling at each other, drawing uh, them closer to her. And serve us he will, young Amelia. <laughs> okay, we, we can all have a good guess as to where that was headed. <laughs> okay. Back into the rafters. Like the perf yeah, like the spying perf we are. Okay. No. We do not have to oh we do have to reach to get on there. Also, I only just noticed that there is a slight animation to the changing of the stealth stance. <coughs> so that's what's going on. I thought you were having a bug there. There's a guard. There's a guard out there. That's the ivory room. And let's not disturb those two. And there's a steam room over there. Probably where things get a bit steamy, with or without the mechanisms. <sighs> First, he took my words out of my mouth. We have him there, someone down below. We have the drunk. What the hell are you doing? They're behind you. Uh, the further away, more behind you was another room. I saw so two shadows. More behind you. Yeah, behind. Yeah. Be, behind in what direction? <laughs> behind you. But I thought no, I saw no. show someone strangling someone. I think you mean nice. there. Oh, he, he's not strangling her. Nope. 
That'd be uh, bad for business and for repeat visits. <laughs> and okay, that part at least was correct of the novel. If there's a harp here. <coughs> for now, though, <coughs> let's take out the guy outside here. He's gone. Oh no, there he is. Okay. Mm. Actually, we might be able to take this guy out and hide him over there. Don't forget the ladies in the room. <laughs> They're a bit occupied with each other, and... <laughs> okay. Now, part of me is tempted to interrupt him. Yeah, yeah, keep on walking. It's not like you did that in the wide open for anyone to see. Okay, into the fireman carry. And into the corner you go. Okay, that's to the steam room. They're still there. Damn you, Hillian. Damn you. That's now I'll get tempted for appeal. Go on with what you were saying, Morgan. And so then, the vote is 43 to 41 against us. But the bylaws stay. The Lord Regent's provisional bylaws? That's exactly right. They state that the conservative position gets an extra three votes. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Pendleton? I was a clerk to Lord Estermont. Before. Whatever happened to old Estermont? The rats did. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament, and one day it flooded, and they all came rushing out. They say the other lords barricaded him in to save themselves. The screams lasted hours. He begged and called them by name, but they let him die. Oh, glad to see that the politicians here care as much about each other as anywhere else seems to. Let's just grab you in case things go bad. So we have one less jackass to deal with. And let's see, Rom in chat. Come on, I take down him. Okay, the chat assumed I quit. Uh, also let him live, otherwise it's kind of pointless to get the non-lethal option, yeah. I was mostly just picking in for information. Though we are going to take a visit here. And okay. Uh. Finally, I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bunny? Not just like last time, understand? Slowly, and only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be retribution, I'd say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line, and you are out of a job. Yeah. What? I guess he doesn't like, he prefers to be a sub. Um, how is your sub cut at this time? Stay focused, please. As you wish. Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I cheated them, robbed them of thousands. I can tell you love your work. Go again, then. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Careful. I have a condition. A condition that you'd like to get punished and confess? I deserve it. Oh, you asked for it. Ah, ah, retribution! Retribution! Ah. That was perfect, but it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. 
we're done. Are you going to listen Stick now? To the script, please. Come on, we know you have the codes. And you refuse to talk. We're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! And then the game is over. I'll have you whipped, you bitch! Stop! You'll kill me! Oh, again. What the... Who is this? What do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is 879. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. And that's... Now what we need to do is get the key and get out. Hi. Thank you for them. I think you're hot. Oh, jolting. Oh god, I'm in a pun. And we could shock him again. No. But let's not. Good helium. <laughs> Rum. Oh, must be going. This is my life now. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, uh, basically, I... like, the, he's basically saying that Corvo must have been going like, like, really? Really? Okay. Let's see. One charm there. The smoking room up there. And the master key is in there, but the, the madam of the... of the cat has the key, so we have to steal it off of her. Then we, we'd have to find her first. So for now, we... We need to head up. But there is quite a few guards there. So where is the safest place for us to head up? Nose again. Want me to bore you by chainsaw to scratch you the nose? No. Okay, a mask is leaning here. I don't know. Some kind of mask, he said. He didn't get a good look. Did he say what he wanted? I hear he didn't say a word. But he went through the place like the outside yeah, himself. Nice. Maybe the plague's driven him crazy. He didn't fight plague, man. He had discipline. Mark me. You get that mask off, and you'll see a weeper. Know what I think? He's one of Dowd's. That's how he fought. Like a shadow. You've been reading too many scary novels. You think I'm scared? You're shaking like a little girl. Go jump off call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, word of us is starting to spread. Uh, no wonder, since, well, we've killed a good amount of people. <laughs> oh. Huh? Yeah. Guard, to me. Come here, Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> fled to the wrong place there. I will find you. Don't make me call the city watch. Okay, I was trying to aim through there, but no. Hello? Come out. And one of the Pendletons has been startled, I think. I will find you. Don't make me call the city watch. But yeah, we don't need them to be. Uh... We don't need them to be uh, unalerted. We welcome the Pendleton twins today, and the window of the smoking room is still not repaired. Custis will take this room, so fix it. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Hmm? Can't go up any further. We All could right. knock them out. So yeah, they, <laughs> they've given up already. We are still stealthy. You're not perfect. 
Yeah, yeah, I completely overshot where I was aiming. So yeah, better to aim at a ledge and get the climbing bits. What's that? It's a lamp. Don't make me call the city watch. That's a... I thought it was a crossbow! A big one! Yeah. I know you're here! Yeah, let's just see what happens. Okay, that's the drunk. To his girlfriend, I presume. Hmm. They, they'd come to the lower levels, okay. another harp. We haven't actually interacted with the other one. There might be a secret somewhere. And it looks like the place is clear for the moment. Yeah, not much hiding room up here. Easy targets. Him again. Yeah, let's get out of here. Give Slack your his thing, then we can start trying to save the girl. Yeah, we need we need the key. Oop, wrong button. We need the key to the back door to get her out safely. So we can't, at least the girls are hiding. Right, uh, so, oh blood heck. Question is, can we go to him before we save her, or must it be at the same time? Yeah, we need to get her out first. Okay, guards. Some useful things. I think one of the Morgans is down there. But we are looking for the madam of the place. Someone help me out for the watch. He just oh, for love which work. I know you're somewhere around here. Can we choke him out while he's searching for us like this? Yes, we can. Okay, so we could use that as a way to. Now. Ah, that came up short. Is he coming around? Nope. He's being a dumbass up there. Okay, he gave up easy. Hello again. Oh, no, it, it's not like uh, in Hitman, but at least there's no one conscience <laughs> to spot us now. Oh, in this area, at least. He we run to five goals in three, two, one. Wait. How long has she been here? But at the very least, probably not the first time she's been choked. Really, Ilian? Really? And up there is one. Let's see. I know we're running low on beds, but I must have a room for the child. She's more important than you can guess, and recently she almost got away using the VIP entrance. That's why I decided to keep the master key in my possession. The, girls must be, the girl must be cared for, even if she's a brat, and I want uh, to keep her in a room to herself. 
Madam Prudence. Anything else here? Guest Ledger. Morgan Pendleton with Dewey in the ivory room, second floor. Mr. Bunting with Betty in the silver room, second floor. Kurt Custis Pendleton with Violetta in the smoking room, third floor. Basically telling you where they would be if you were got here first. Okay, so we have the key now, but let's go grab that bone charm first. They should have been from bombing villages. Bastard daughters. And extra mouths that can't be fed. You. Carrion killer. Killing rats give you some adrenaline, but we don't have access to that yet. They will be working in the factory. By the time they arrive, it's much too late. Hey, hey. Yeah. Typical uh, human smuggling. L large river crossed pearl. Okay. Thank you, and Tivian Orr. This is some oh. big ass pearls. The plague swept through here. There are rooms they have yet to clean. Okay, I, we can take off now. I think I know what river cross might be. Giant oysters. The girls do not like this in Yeah. She is not kind. Not at all like They're anyone. more dangerous guys. I think that's the old uh, oysters or clams that are very poisonous. That gives you very painful stings, so I guess, well, you saw the size of that thing. Yeah. Let's not I anger so them. You must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. And there we go. And I get the feeling this will let us out where we. Yep, the back door. Wonderful. Now to ask if so can they get rid of the, the, the twins. It's just they wouldn't listen. Give me one more chance, won't you, darling? Let me prove myself to you. Okay, and Granny is rambling again. But yeah, now we... <clears throat> now we can have the slack jaw, give him the combination to the safe. Actually, we, there's no real reason for us to stay hidden. We... All we need to do is not kill. So we can just rush out and then vanish up here. And they gave up. Bye bye. And it's not like we get penal. Uh, not like we get a penalty for getting seen. The only real penalties are for killing. Were you about to say peanut? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say penalized. Yep. Sure, sure, let's go with that. Okay. Hatters fired the first shots, but Bottle Street Gang fired the last. Okay. There probably were a few places in the cats where we could have used possession, but I didn't see them. For now, though. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. Yeah. That's what we people call... Karma. Yep. No, it won't save those others in the mine. Well, assuming those are kept there against their will, a good chunk probably are. 
But yeah. Two assholes stuck <laughs> in their own pit. So all we need to do now is just get out of here. Wait, did we get all the runes and all that? I think we did. See, I'm not seeing any here. Notes. Uh, does it say anything here about how many there are? Uh, we could have gone to this um, our dealer's place ourselves to loot it, I think. Though I think Slackjaw would have been pretty pissed with us if he'd find out the place was empty. Um, yeah, I don't know where you can see where if there might be more around or not. Yeah, we were able to do that. But I do think we got all of them. Ah, ah. And let's see, Rom. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> so much for stealth. Uh, whoever we already dealt, uh, whoever we dealt with already, we have dealt with Campbell. That was the first one, and now we have dealt with the uh, Pendletons. And to answer your really old question, the runes are permanent, the bone charms are exchangeable. Yeah. Uh, imagine working as a cop and your wife works as a prostitute. That would make for the most awkward family gathers, uh, gatherings ever. Ain't that uh, a stroke? Uh, perhaps. There's also the charm that's somewhere. Since you got in, just punch everyone. But what about the tunnel snakes? <laughs> okay. Yeah, tunnel snakes rule. Uh, just because we don't kill them doesn't mean they don't want to be dead. Dark vision or the heart to see. Yeah, what and the heart. Done to me? Yeah, and the heart says there's nothing here now. No, the heart asked what they had done to her. Don't lie to audience. Don't lie to them. Yeah. And now though, oh, that's a dangerous swarm. And again, actually, no, the, these are a few more and these would be dangerous. So let's solve that problem. Bring the herd. Oh, no crap, crap. <laughs> well, they took care of some of the rats for us. Yeah, wait, does the game have checkpoints, Abe? Uh, sort of. Good for you, so nice. You're almost done with this level. You will soon to end this screen. Yeah. You hit the problem if you died and you had to restart from the beginning. Yeah. Sorry, let's just get in here and get out. Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. Just to step in, it's not night. <laughs> It's pre at best, it's dawn. Da, 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 da. Three, three kills. Uh, oh yeah, the, the assassins. No civilians killed, no alarms. Six unconscious fa bodies found. Low chaos. Well, we did, we did get some kills. We have Slackjaw, find Crowley, and put the penalties to work in their own mine. And, okay, we missed one, one ruin. And Sokolov paintings. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, the, at one point I did see what looked to be a painting with the dark vision, but I forgot about that. Still, that would have only got, given us cash. So, yeah, only one missed. That is less than in the previous mission, though. So, let's move. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Of course. 
Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. New objective, the mad genius. Okay. And yeah. Nothing here now. So we can... Is there actually a way to holster or stuff? If there is, I don't know it. But let's have a chat with some people. Actually, yeah, let's have a chat with some people. Ask me for any gear you need. And then we'll call it. We got a new... Uh, okay, we're full on those. Incendiary bolts we already had access to, but we couldn't let have them be made or bought. We can buy this rune here. Wait, and... I just something. How much did you say grip sold the arrows? Three times the expensive? Uh, yeah, he sold them for 100 gold or coins. So, no, yeah, it is a mu hmm? I think it's sort of a 300. No, I think it was 100 that he sells the sleep darts for. So we can stock up here. All right. In any case, if I'm right, it would mean he sold them way overpriced. Yeah. Let's see. Increase the standard bolt capacity by 10. We haven't been really be using our weapons, so have, upgrading these is a little interest at the moment but let's get this one so we can get another so, upgrades so having more be able to shoot more uh, sleep dogs would be useful yeah it's for the standard bolts oh and it doesn't i'm guessing bolt capacity too would just allow for more of the normal bolts because uh yeah they need to limit your most power it's ba the sleep darts are one hit kill basically so yeah they shouldn't be too powerful and let's not get the second of the bone up charm upgrades yet since i don't think we have one that is two let's see drinking of faucets yes uh, getting damage give you some adrenaline let's take this one and when we next find another useful one uh, for stealth, then we'll take, uh, then we'll get the next bone charm upgrade. Now let's just check around with some people again. Havelock should still be down here. Yep. Oh, uh, we could choke him out. Uh, Don't. Not going to though. <laughs> that would be a game over. I'm pretty sure. Uh, there are uh, there are some special game overs you can get in this game. I will point out one of them when we get to that. Uh, no, Ram, I'm not going to KO Havelock. Martin? Gamble's journal. It's amazing how many overseers he's been blackmailing. It really is the key to the Abbey. Okay, not surprised there. Lydia? I hope his lordship is taking this well. Pendleton, I mean. I do worry about the poor man. Mm. Yeah, assholes or not, they were still his brothers. Rum, did you activate a machine gun nest, really? Yes, uh, isn't it one day? Did the devs the forget to make the secure. mission take place at night? Uh, yeah, because this is very much still dawn, I'd say. Uh, Have you ever seen it as a night? The reason we always see it as dawn or dusk. 
Hello, Bien. Mr. Corvo. I'll be getting on with my work then. Okay. And then, oh, Gaffer's Tale. Yeah, we've seen these before. Let's check for the audiograms. See if there's anything new with those. Okay, this one's gone. Yeah, Admiralty in the fleet already seen. Pendleton's over there. And he took his <laughs> he took his one with him as well. And then up here is just our room where nobody should be. So let's go see Pendleton. And then probably call it. Almost fell in back down again. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Rom. Well, I should put this in advance. It's been fun. Have a good day, Helian. Actually, it's night over here, so yeah, we'll be calling it soon, anyways. But for now, we're calling the stream here. And uh, yeah, another stream, another mission. I think this is going the same way as Darksiders, in where we complete, uh, compete, <laughs> yeah, one uh, mission every time. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> so yeah, thoughts. It goes well so far, though. Your sneaking skills may need some improvement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seems that could you make a major mistake? You keep making them. Uh, yeah. Though I'm still surprised it went as smoothly as it did. Yeah, it only really went uh, not really to crap, since we still got out mostly. Uh, well, we didn't die at the very least. Uh, we got out without too much trouble. And yeah, it only really went badly once I mis misjudged that jump with the blink on the top floor. Yeah, you were close to real to it extremely bad so many times. Yeah. But yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Uh, yeah, Saturday will be... Yeah, we won't have Slime Rancher to continue. So we are actually going back to the game that I first started streaming with before I started uploading to YouTube, which is Ship... Yeah, Hard Space Shipbreaker, because that updated with the story quite a while ago. I was already busy with uh, Slime Rancher by the time that happened, so I didn't want to interrupt that. So yeah, we'll get to see... you what happens next in Hard Space Shipbreaker uh, on Saturday and however many uh, Saturdays it takes to complete that. But yeah, as always, thank you anyone who's been watching now or later and thank you especially as always, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks!